Greetings! Today I will show you some options of custom signal routing in Reaper. The most of Reaper users know all the standard ways to send a signal from one track to another. You can send pre, post, fader or pre effects. There is also an option to disable sending to a parent folder or master track. But what if I'd like to send a sound from within insert effects chain to another track? I have found two ways to do that. Let's see how it works. Here is a project with a single guitar to I track. I decided to make a crunch tone out of it, but send the clean compressed sound before an amp sim to a reverb track. The first way is to split the insert chain into two tracks. So, the first one contains all the processing before an amp sim. Then we make a send to the reverb track and to the second split track with the amp sim. Also, we have to disable the parent send feature to avoid hearing a direct clean sound. The second way I personally prefer more, it involves creating additional channels on the same track. Let's add two additional channels for the compressor here. Now we can make a send to the reverb bus. Since I've specified channels 3 and 4 for this send, it sends the signal right after the compressor and not the one we hear at the end of the insert effects chain. And there is no need to disable a parent send for this approach. That's it for the moment. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, leave a comment and hit a thumb button. See you in the next video!